GoDaddy.com, your number one source for all your internet needs. GoDaddy.com offers new hosting, free hosting. Is it free hosting or new hosting? Okay. GoDaddy.com, your number one source for new domain registry. Now with your domain registration, you get hosting, free blog, and free puppies. Puppies? Of course not. Jackass. Get your piece of the internet on GoDaddy.com through Game Zombie TV. And enter in the code ZOMBIE20 and get an additional 20% off of one, two, and three year shared hosting plans. I, I think that was right. I think that was right too. I'm really excited. <sighs> Hey, I'm Dave Klein of GameZombie.tv, and I'm here with Walid, a brand manager for Darksiders. And um, sorry if I'm a little uh, tossed. Just got off of a Darksiders horse, <laughs> a Darksiders mount. Can you tell me about the game? Absolutely. In the game, you play as War, one of the horsemen of the apocalypse. You're accused of triggering a false apocalypse. You wipe out humanity before it's time, and because of this crime, you're stripped of your powers by the Charred Council, and they send you back to Earth to kind of get your revenge and redemption. But it's not you. You're just like, what? I didn't, I didn't do this. <laughs> you're like, man, why is everybody against me? It's always war. They always blame war. What happened to, you know, Fury? Why, why not famine, you know? But what's the most interesting feature of the game? Kind of combining the hub and dungeon structure that you might know from Zelda yeah. with the sensibilities of a modern action game. So you're going to have the awesome combat system, the mature storylines, the comic book art styles. You got great graphics, great combat, great exploration, great story. Uh, cool voice cast. We got Mark Hamill playing the Watcher. Bill Lamar playing Vulgrim, Liam O'Brien as War, uh, Moonblood good as Uriel, so just really high production values. You have a lot of puzzles in the game. Absolutely, in each dungeon you're going to get a new, what we call a gear item, it may be like a crossblade, like a boomerang weapon, uh, it may be, you know, all kinds of different items you're going to get, and those are used to solve the puzzles in the game and then beat the boss. So if you're if you're trying to wail on the boss, you're not using that item and you get in the dungeon, you're probably doing something wrong. So when can everyone expect to see a release of the game? January 2010, it's going to be the first big hit of the year, so check it out. So, that's Darksiders, coming out 2010, January, check it out.